Howdy gamers, let's talk about the runes for Garen top lane. Uh, the most common keystones are Conqueror and Grasp, and I'm going to be arguing for Conqueror as with Grasp and dying, it's okay, it's not terrible on Garen, but the thing is, uh, there's just champions that are better at using Grasp than Garen. Think about like uh, Gangplank top lane, um, Set, Cho'Gath, etc. With Garen, you want to have a bigger reward for getting on top of the enemy champion in the first place, as usually you're attacking them without retaliation. So... Grasp would give you a better one auto trade with your Q, but Garen really doesn't need that. He'd like you can get a better value through that through itemization versus um, through the runes. And the health builds up, and then the extra mixed damage that you would get from Grasp is also kind of whatever, as it doesn't synergize as well with uh, Garen's kit as it does other champions. Um, the healing that is with Conqueror, you basically build up extra damage, and then once you're on top of someone, you're going to be healing more. So it's giving you more damage, and it's so quickly built up because of Garen's spin that um, you're really just not missing out on much um, like other champions that have to that stack it up slower. And then it gives you a bigger reward for being on top of someone as you're simply dealing more damage to them, and then the reward for dealing more damage is more healing because whenever Conquerors fully stack, you heal for 15% of the damage you deal. And primarily, like what you're building on Garen early is a lot of damage items because that's just the best way to function on him. So, Keystone we're going to be going with is going to be Conqueror. Uh, with Conqueror, you gain a basic attacks or spells that deal damage to enemy champions, grant you two stacks of Conqueror for six seconds, gaining uh, two to five based on your level, adaptive uh, force per stack, and then stacks up to ten times. Once it's fully stacked, you heal for 15% of the damage that you deal. So you your basic combo, once you're in front of someone, would be like auto Q, and then you're just spinning on top of them with the E, and then every tick of the E will be building up Conqueror, and then once Conqueror is fully procced, uh, or fully stacked again, then the E is going to be dealing more damage. Every other um, source of damage that you're going to have through your auto attacks or your second rotation of your Q is going to be dealing more damage as well. Um, so like it's just a way 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 better reward for being on top of someone and then again once it, it also has the higher synergy with your build path too as you're building damage items early you're primarily focused on uh, dealing damage early so the more damage you're dealing the more damage you're healing um, with conquer for the second rune it's going to be triumph takedowns restore 12 percent of your missing health and grant an additional 20 gold um, in a 1v1 situation triumph's not so useful but come mid game like 2v2s uh 3v3s and then just team fights takedown's going to give you more value as garen's kit revolves around like bursting down one person and then whenever you restore the 12 percent health after like you ult one person then it's going to give you the more health to either choose to escape a fight safely or continue to um take the fight as the more health is going to let you um actually stay on top of um enemy champions and not actually die. So that's basically the value of Triumph. And the additional 20 gold is kind of just icing on the cake. For the third row, um, your best option is Tenacity. Attack speed might seem tempting, but the attack speed you get through itemization is more meaningful than uh, the attack speed you can get from Alacrity, as you're going to get it at either faster points or more meaningful points. Um, with Tenacity, it makes it so that you gain 5 Tenacity per Legend stack, and then you gain a Legend stack through doing about anything. Um, getting a kill or assist, killing an objective, large monster, minion, etc. Literally like anything in the game, you're going to be building this up. And then with Tenacity, it makes it so that even against matchups where they have like brief CC, champions like Kiana, Irelia, etc. Tenacity is going to be giving you extra value. It's also going to be aiding you in uh, 2v2s where usually the jungler brings um, some CC ability and to negate that a little bit is going to be pretty meaningful. And then against champions... Against team comps, usually uh, with lots of CC, so champions like Thresh, Nautilus, etc. If you have this on top of Merc Treads, like you do eat the CC ability, but you're not really like confined to it for that long. So, gonna be getting solid value out of Tenacity, uh, regardless of most matchups. If the enemy team comp has like literally no CC, uh, if they have like five Akalis, sure, just take like the attack speed. Um, but that's that. With the fourth rune, you do have to um, consider because Coupe de Grasse and Last Stand are both really good. Um, if you want like a pretty basic baseline of like when to run either, Coupe de Grasse is going to be giving you more value into um, basically just squish your champions. So champions like Irelia, um, maybe Camille, etc. Where once you're on top of them, your full rotation plus your ult is just going to be killing them. 
So having 8% more damage to champions who are below 40% health uh, becomes more value in those cases. With Last Stand, you deal uh, 5 to 11%. Basically, you just deal more damage the lower health you are. And into tank matchups, um, champions like Mordekaiser, uh, Orn, etc., you're going to be getting more value out of Last Stand as you're not bursting them outright. You're probably getting two rotations of your Q and E off. And so long that you can survive them with Conqueror, then you're going to be getting way more value out of Last Stand through this as you just don't have enough usually you just don't have enough um damage to burst them out right with coup de grasse so depending on the matchup you should change these runes as they're very significant in like the functionality that you gain from them depending on the matchups and then for secondary runes it's pretty basic um your good options are demolish overgrowth second one and bone plating uh i think defaultly uh going overgrowth plus bone plating is probably your best bet with bone plating, uh, you're going to be blocking damage. You're effectively just getting more HP from bone plating, and especially with Garen, he has like uh, he ha he doesn't have good uh, retaliation to whenever the enemy jumps onto him, and that's what bone plating offers. With bone plating, after you take damage from an enemy champion, the next three spells or attacks you receive from them deal 30 to 60 based on your level less damage, and then it's on a 45 second cooldown. So it is a pretty significant cooldown, but usually champions can't jump on you at, like every single second of every single laning phase. So especially against champions like Irelia Jax, Bone Plating is gonna give you insane value as they have to jump on top of you to like get things started. And Bone Plating is gonna be negating the damage right as they go in. So really, really, really valuable rune into melee matchups. With Overgrowth, you absorb life essence from monsters or enemy minions, mostly just enemy minions that die near you, permanently increasing your maximum health by eight, or by three for every eight minions absorbed. Whenever you've absorbed 120, Monsters or enemy minions, you gain an additional 3.5% maximum health. So this basically gives you like a ruby crystal come mid game. And that's pretty good gold value for uh, versus not. You could run Demolish, but Demolish is kind of like a win more rune where you are going to be getting the turret plates if you're killing your lane. But if you're not, then you just simply don't get the... You could convert the gold earned from Demolish to like the extra health from Overgrowth, but... Uh, it's just more very ballistic. If you are, if you do have a winning matchup and you know you're going to win, or if you're just playing for lane, sure, run Demolish, but I would say defaultly, just go with Overgrowth. It's, it just makes more sense. With Second Wind, do you want to be running this into like the caster matchup top lane? So think about champions like um, Rumble, Orn, Mordekaiser, where even though they're short range, they do have poke abilities to damage you without you having uh, any, any answers since Garen's like the quintessential melee champion. So with, with Second Wind... Versus Bone Plate. And Second Wind doesn't have a cooldown. Um, so ev after taking damage from an enemy champion, you heal for 4% of your missing health, plus 6 over 10 seconds. So you're going to be getting way better values out of Second Wind into those matchups. And with Second Wind plus Dorn Shield, you're almost entirely negating uh, the, those champions' advantage into you. So long that like you're not challenging them on a minion wave. So Plus Garen's passive too, it makes those matchups like not so bad. With adaptive runes, it's going to be attack damage, attack damage. It's going to start you off with 12. And then depending on your matchup, you obviously want to switch the resistances. So if you're playing into Irelia, Camille, etc., you want the armor. And then if you're playing into, uh, say, Rumble, Mordekaiser, you want the magic resist. So these would be the default runes I'd recommend for Garen top lane. They're pretty basic, and I think that's for the best as he's a uh, pretty basic champion. Again, really consider the... Um, minor rune you're running here in Coup de Grasse or Last Stand because both of these are basically like a minor keystone as they give you so much damage depending on uh, depending on your matchup. But other than that, it's uh, basically all there is to consider with uh, with Garen. So if this video helped you, leaving a like on the video helps me. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I answer literally all of them. And if you're interested in me talking about League of Legends some more, check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Nelson. Links in the description. Bye-bye. You know what? They kind of ruined Garen with the rework. I'm going to be honest. He was in an okay spot, kind of like Aatrox. And they're just like, well, now you have to kind of cheese and run into him. It's whatever.